This is Sally Lynn McDonald, looking a little bleary, because uh, we were on online last night at midnight going over the uh, new color inkjet image transfer technique that I came up with. And I realized, you know, and using gel press, of course, <laughs> I realized, you know, after I was, that's my dog, after I was, you know, reviewing all of the different techniques that I've been doing for years, that maybe we should do just a quick demo of those techniques. So... That's what we're going to do now. So let's flip to the downward camera and go over some of these different techniques. Okay, here we go. See, hi, I'm up here now. <laughs> All right, I've got just a little three by five plate with me this morning. And this is actually one of the techniques. This is the one where I call transfer from UPO paper. So this is UPO paper. I don't know what it is. It's just some kind of plastic polypropylene, whatever. I have printed out a very detailed image on this. And now I'm going to take that and apply it to my gel press plate. And because I didn't cut it down, I felt like I might flip it the other way, but we're just going to, you know what, we'll do it the way. Because I really want to get this stuff. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> so just making good contact with the gel press plate to the wet ink on the UPO paper. And it's not a long contact. In fact, it's very short. I just want to make sure that I have good contact. And then I'm going to lift it off. So this is not difficult at all. But we pull it off. And then I know it's impossible for you to see, but when I'm flipping this in the light, I can see that the image is actually transferred. And put this aside, don't get fingers on it. You can use that again. So now that we have our image on the three by five plate, I know you can really see that so, so, so well. Um, let me try and put something underneath it. Although it's such a fine detail print, I'm not, you're not going to see it, see it on the plate. Believe me, it's there. It's Rice Krispie Treats. It's totally there. Now I'm taking a piece of leather um, that's cut down to ATC size. And we're just going to place it directly on the plate. And just make good contact again. And you know the gel press plate is hugging that to the surface, so it's not sliding around even though I know I've got the mylar sheet on the back of this three by five. So it's sliding around, but the, believe me, the leather is not. And we're just making good contact and I will lift it off. And voila, look at the detail. Once again, I'll be putting up images afterwards with all of these uh, prints, but the super, super, super fine detail of that print comes through. It's just amazing. Now, just as a matter of practice, I typically take my plates and do a quick pickup print to get rid of any extra inkjet that is on the surface. And that'll show you the detail of what's left behind. It's just really astonishing how much you can get off of a print. But now we have a nice clean plate to use for the next time. Okay, so that is the UPO transfer. Amazing. This one is specifically for black and white images for very, very fine line detail. Um, you print it out on the UPO, and I'll put the, the <laughs> process in again on the UPO, on an inkjet printer, not a laser. You're going to cook your laser printer. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Don't put plastic through a laser printer, but run the UPO through the inkjet on best quality, not draft, not toner saving, really fine detail, and you get amazing prints out of it. Next up. Okay, now this is the, the one that started it all for me. <clears throat> and this is, I printed out an image. I know it's difficult to see because I've literally got it face down on the plate, but there you can see it through the back. Oh, duh. I'm feeling stupid right now. <laughs> Look through the back of the gel press plate. <gasps> Look at that, what I've got sitting on the plate. This really cool printout of a, just an old dictionary page that I blew up and made large. And then I placed it face down after printing it out on the inkjet printer 
um, once again, black images are best. Um, really haven't had good success with color with this particular technique, but this is the one that started it all. So we have just an image placed on the naked gel press plate and that's placed on there for like five, 10 minutes. You know, it really depends on your conditions, but you can't go too long. You can only go too short. So let it sit. That's fine. What it's going to do is that that gel press plate is going to just suck up all that yummy toner off that really fresh print and transfer it onto the plate. So once again, let's flip to the downward camera. Okay, so I've, I've showed you this plate. This is just plain copy paper printed out on my inkjet printer and it's been sitting on here for a little while. And I'm gonna lift this off and I can already see how gorgeous this is. So this printout, you don't have to discard this. You can always use this for collage. So it's really no waste. You could use this for something. There's no reason why not to use it. It's just not going to do another transfer. That's okay. Okay. Once again, let's put a piece of paper under here so you can kind of see what I'm seeing because I know it's hard to catch on the camera. You see that? It's all there. Now, the special thing about this is when you're doing a traditional image transfer, you have to flip the text, you have to mirror it, you have to do, you have to print it on a laser, you have to do all kinds of funky stuff. You don't have to do any of that. I don't know why I still have my keyboard sitting here. <laughs> so you don't have to do any of that to make this work. All we have to do is literally pull a print. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of paint very thin layer because this is a dry pickup. This is not like on the UPO. This is dry ink sitting on that surface. So we're now going to perform a dry pickup print from it. So the gel press plate has sucked it into the surface. And this came to me because I had for someone who, you know, put a piece of printed newsprint on top of their plate and then was like, oh my gosh, now there's newsprint on my plate and it won't come off. And it made me think, oh my God could be a good thing now. <laughs> so I have never been able to successfully really transfer off newsprint, but it gave me this idea and I started from there. So I'm using a little three by five plate to the side and just priming up my brayer. I just want a super thin layer of paint across the plate. Very, very thin. The key to being successful with any pickup print is to be able to see what lies beneath. If you can see the image, you can print it. So I'm just getting, basically this is acting like glue. Now I have an image here already. Yeah, I'm not going to do this one. I'll just do this on a piece of paper so that you can see the detail again. So we'll just go with a blank. Typically this is something that I would layer on another print, but because I want you to see the process and not get focused on art, but just the process, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so making good contact, self-registering, and pulling a print. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me just put it down one more time. Yeah, that's a nice thing. It's like if you don't feel like you've gotten enough, you can always go right back down because it self-registers on the plate. and get more and more and more detail. Now I can see a lot of detail there, but like I said, I use self-registration, which I know is a different term, but basically the plate hugs the paper to the surface. So I'm gonna now kind of put this back down over here and check the other side. And we're getting good image pickup, but I wanna get better, so I'm gonna go back down. So I'm just like self-ghost printing over and over again to really pick up as much of that ink as possible. Yeah, there, that's much, much better. Maybe one more time. All right, so that's self-registration for you, a, a second lesson. I can do the same thing on any edge and just you know go in and make sure that I'm getting all of the detail from that image that I want. Because when you're doing a dry pickup print, you know that's what it's about. Letting it get dry, self-register, check your work, it's looking awesome, and a print and this is exceedingly detailed print so I want you to see how much came up all of it and even though I basically ghost printed and ghost printed and ghost printed and ghost printed to make sure I was getting all the ink look at it so it holds everything in place perfectly self-registration on the gel press plate 
gives you exact positioning every single time. You don't need a hinge or a piece of tape. That's really far less uh, precise than this method is. So that is the traditional mama that started them all. The inkjet image transfer dry pickup with a black and white. Once again, it works best with black and white. Oh, with this process, you can use uh, things with a lot more text to them, and you'll also get things that have a lot more uh, grayscale. And I will put up some images that show you all this uh, in the feed after the broadcast is done. And I am here tonight to show you the uh, inkjet image transfer technique, technique number three. <laughs> One, two, and three I have developed to work with gel press. <laughs> so I wanted to give you a look into that today and um, we're going to be doing tonight a color inkjet image transfer full color um, with no pickup whatsoever I just I can't wait to show you how this works it's pretty darn foolproof and I think you're gonna like it and then we'll just review some of the other ones that we've done in the past but um, this is inkjet image transfer 3 full color with gel press <laughs> All right, let's go up to the webcam and first off, just to let you know what we're using today, our tools are basically quite simple. We're using parchment paper, baking parchment paper sheets, and uh, we're using that with an inkjet printer um, with the printer with best quality, uh, not draft, not toner saving mode, best quality. So there's lots and lots of ink on there and uh, full color prints. So let's go to the downward camera. I'm up here. Okay, so I've got my gel press plate, nothing on it, and I am going to take this is what I printed out on my printer. So it's a piece of baking parchment paper, and I just attached it to the top of a regular piece of paper to run through the printer that I used just a little adhesive to the top to keep it from uh, jamming. And then I'm going to take that, and you have to be careful when you're holding it because the ink is wet. But we're going to take that, as you can see here, the image has not been uh, flipped. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. You don't have to mirror image it or anything. And then I'm going to place it face down on what I call the naked gel press plate. Because it doesn't need anything on it. And we're just going to make sure we've got good contact where our images and texts are. Um, because it's kind of a non-porous surface, you want to just make sure there are no bubbles where you want to get that really good 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 text coming through okay so we'll make sure we've got good contact there's very detailed images on this one and that's why I'm using it to show you because I want you to see the detail of what you can get so now that we've got a good contact I'm just gonna go like this with my hand run down the edge I call that self-registration it's got good hold to the plate the plate hugs it in position and then I can start lifting back from the other edge and this is where I can see if we're getting good images. I know it's difficult for you to see on camera, but hopefully you can get an idea. Here you can see very, very well that there is an image transferring over. And if there was something like right here, I can see a kind of a double line. I might just go back and press on that just to make sure that that gets transferred a little bit better. But this is really nitpicking at this point because I'm just super happy. So I'm going to pull this back. And place it to the side because we could get a ghost print out of that possibly and now this I'm going to print and I'm just going to take a piece of copy paper just so you can get an idea of the integrity of this image and you notice I didn't put anything on the plate to do a pickup print it's holding it on the surface the gel press is engineered to release the media um, so it works really, really beautifully to do this. And I'm just making good contact with my substrate to that surface. Once again, self-register and we'll pull it up and see what we've got. And oh my goodness. Guys, this looks like I just pulled it out of the printer. It still astonishes me every time. I don't know if you can see this as well and I will definitely scan these in so you can see them on the copy but uh, the words are completely legible in this it's just amazing clarity of images and so that's one now that's just on paper well, we can run paper through a printer that's not very exciting 
I'm going to show you the one that I just did a few minutes before. So it had just a little bit of a margin in there, which I can easily fill in with paint. But once again, across the margin, beautiful, very, very nice. And then this whole area over here, which I can fill in with my own drawings of flowers and mono prints and fill in with words. So a really fun start to a page using your own digital imagery. And so I hope you enjoyed our different three different image transfers three ways with the inkjet and the gel press. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you make. Thanks for watching.